views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. Where my girls got the sweetest pussy. Welcome to SinCityBounty.com. The only podcast where we can be bitches. Unless you have the anti-bitch shield, the shield of niceness, which I'm flowing over Sierra tonight because <laughs> she's in a bitch mood. I am in a bitch mood. I'm going to make her happy. How are you? I'm going to touch you <laughs> onto this table. <laughs> My night just got better. I literally just, I forget who I was telling it to, but I just told the consent story the other day the, about how, story? about when I stuck my fingers up you oh. <laughs> and the consent, the consent that I needed to ask wasn't to do that to you because we kind of have open consent there. Right. Um, it was the fact that I was dating a guy and I, to tell you all the story in case you haven't heard, <laughs> we were at the rooster. Sierra said she wasn't wearing panties. I was drunk. They all start that way. So I didn't believe her, and I stuck my fingers up. I pulled them out. I realized she was telling the truth, and I was dating this guy, and I took my fingers, and I went like this on Wait, his shirt. It was two fingers. I mean, why, why waste one? If you're going in, you go in. So I do do on his shirt, and he spaz. And he spaz not because I wiped vag juice on his shirt, but because I didn't ask consent to wipe vag juice on his shirt. So a future time we were out again, she's like, God, I wear panties tonight. No, not a future time. 15 minutes later. No, it was another night. It was a totally other night. No, you did it the second time that night. Possibly, but <laughs> anyway, so I did it again, but this time I asked his permission and he said yes, and I wiped your vag juice on his shirt and that was it. My juicy vag juice. So. This is a juicy bitch. Consent. Consent. Consent is the key. <laughs> Consent is the key, I think, for just so. about everybody. John Charles um, Lee. Hi, John Charles Lee. Hey, Danielle. The topic tonight, so we are talking about the bashes. It's bashes, bitches, and... Britches. Britches. Bashes, bitches, and britches. The three Bs. So tonight kicks off the uh, pre-party, right? Tonight? Wait, are we getting right into that? Because that's all we got. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll start with bashes, okay. and then we'll do bitches, and then we'll, we'll talk bitches. Britches. Okay, yeah. okay, so we'll start with bashes. So we'll start with bashes. Tonight is the pre-party for Excellence BBW Summer Bash Extravaganza thing. I don't know what they're calling it. But anyway, it's Jacob's party tonight. So because Jacob is here, right? Jacob's here. Jake's, Jacob's event is tonight. Jacob's event is tonight. So um, the big plush event, Tuesday night, starting at 9 p.m. at the 512. And the 512 is located at 512 Fremont Street. It's where he used to do his... Next door. It's next door. It's, it's next door to the Vanguard. Okay. So he used to do it at a place right across from Container Park. But he would host other events at the Vanguard. This is next door to the Vanguard, formerly Red, and um, no cover, $5 well drinks, and we'll be there. So we'll I mean, there. if you need no other reason to go. We still haven't decided who's driving it, so 50-50 shot, one of us is going to be drunk. No, 100% shot, one of us is going to be drunk. 50-50 shot on which one of us it's going to be. Yes, yeah, so we're going to flip a coin. We're flipping a coin later. At some point, we will just... And if that bitch lands on its side, we'll Uber. Oh, uh, no, we won't Uber. We'll Uber. We'll lift. I don't Uber. I lift. Right. We'll lift. Anyway. We'll lift. So we'll go to that. That cook, uh, kicks off the Excellence BBW uh, event, which we will be broadcasting. We will be broadcasting again. Saturday night. Okay, guys, if you have not purchased your tickets yet to the Excellence event, do so now. X-L-E-N-C-E. -E. Um, I believe I tagged it on our Facebook page. Um, there are, you can purchase, I believe at this point you have to purchase at the door. Um, but there's events every night and everything leads up. If you don't do the whole week, it all leads up to the big pool party Saturday night. And Vegas locals, Vegas ID people, I mean Nevada ID people, um, $20 
And the Saturday night pool party. And seriously, this pool party is off the fucking hook. Like, legit. We're super excited to be back. It'll be at the Palace Station again. It is at the Plaza. The Plaza. I'm sorry. It was never a Palace Station. I had to do a lot of work about Palace Station this week. So it was at the it Plaza. It is at the Plaza. It has been at the Plaza before. We have this. We're in this amazing place, same place we are every year. Um, where you pass us to get in that bitch, so... You gotta see us. You gotta see us. We've you gotta got, stop, talk. We've got full view of the pool, full view of people coming in. I mean, we get to see, oh, the drama. The hot tub is literally right behind us. Behind, and, and there's see, a big glass panel that we yes. can see in... Just so you know, I can see what you're doing under the water level in that hot tub, you dirty, dirty bastards. I mean, we don't hate it, though. I'm no. just saying we don't hate it. No, we no, no. do I'm not, watch. I'm not, I'm not kink shaming it at all. Please do it. <laughs> we but do, we and everyone watching. walking by can see. Just yeah, so you know. just know we're watching. Just know we're like probably. I, I consent to watching you jack someone off or getting <laughs> jacked off. I consent to that. Oh, good times, good times. Uh, Danielle, sleeping in my cozy bed. I work at 5 a.m. So does this bitch, and I work shortly after so no excuses true that you gotta I'm rally wrong. to party you gotta do it sometimes no, so in tired the great thing is about being in vegas is everything comes to vegas i mean everything comes to vegas but when you live here in order to enjoy that sometimes you got to make sacrifices get yourself a rock star girl and come out tonight and you know what you know what um it's okay for me to be a little bit tired at work. I mean, if I run someone over with a forklift, it's it's not the end of the world, right? It's not. I'm okay with it. All right. See? I'm okay. Nah. We'll be good. We'll be tired as fuck. It's okay. One night. One night. And then tomorrow night, you sleep in. Yeah. You go to sleep early. You make up for it. Come on. We're living life. Living life. So now, pre-party tonight, pre-bash party, I feel weird. Like, I do like the angle. Like, it's the angle I prefer but anyway pre-bash party tonight um, followed by excellence plus event guys next Sunday there is so much happening if you are not in town on Sunday be in town on Sunday so number one we have craves pre-party event because then it backs into now Bree's pop-up party which happens the following week excited about that the same night as Crave's event, which is at Karaoke Ninja, and I will absolutely be there. Um, Stu's wrapping up his event with a big pool party at the house that everyone refers to as a mansion, but I prefer to just call it a really big house. Whatever, whatever. Mansion um, pool party? But it's at the mansion. Mm -hmm. And anyone around here, when you say, they all know where that party's at. But anyway, um, that is Sunday night. And you can do what I'm going to do and do both. So I'm going to start out at karaoke at the mansion party. Oh, right. Because they, you can come a little earlier. So I'm starting out there. I'm going to get ready there. Then I'm going to Ninja Karaoke for Crave. And then my plan is to bounce back to the pool party to wrap up my night and then go home. I will not be participating in any of Sunday night's events because as much as I like to say it's okay for me to show up to work, uh, Monday is actually a really critical shipping day for me, and so I cannot be tired or late. It's okay. See, here, here's my theory. Um, I've basically been spending the past, you know, long time with my Netflix subscription and my yoga pants. And you as I post on my Toxie page... I'm going to take the yoga pants off, I'm going to pause my Netflix subscription, and I'm going to be social as fuck, people, for the next two weeks. Do it. For the next Do two it. weeks. I'm telling you, if you are giving a slam poetry reading at Dunkin' Donuts off of Nellis, I will attend. I've never done it at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I have done it at uh, a Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf, though, many, many years ago. I love ago. Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. Me too, but they've closed a lot of them. There's one that I stop at every morning, mm. and I get a big old drink. Anyway, so I'm going to be social as fuck. So if you have something going on for the next two weeks, invite me. I'm going to show. I got a bunch of shit going on. I, uh, I'm starting. I'm not starting. We are, as a group, starting a new D&D uh, &D group, gaming group, 
next Saturday during the day. You want to come be social? I so remember I said I'm gonna go out and so be social. So first off, literally um, everyone there you love. So can I come and sit in the corner and not have to do anything? You know we can make you an NPC, so you don't have to make a character. You just have to pretend to be someone. Ken is our character that makes fun of other people. Yeah, we can make something for you. I can do sure. that. I can do that. <laughs> so um, anyway, so now so Sunday night, bam. Double parties. Y'all have to do what I'm doing. I plan to bounce, bounce. And then Bree's pop-up party starts Monday. Tons of events tied into it, um, leading right up through the week. And most likely, I'm assuming, we'll be broadcasting Saturday. But I need to confirm with Bree. We're confirmed with Stu. Mm -hmm. um, lot going on. There's this so is the time to be on. here. I'm so creative. Like, I'm so glad that. I don't work job number two regularly anymore right? because I have been so slammed. I literally worked an entire extra day at my job last week, and it looks like I'm going to be working an entire extra day this week and an entire extra day next week, and not like six days. I'll be working five days, but cramming in an extra day of work in that time frame. So that just I'd... means that you, I'm a firm believer in working hard hmm. and then playing hard. Yeah. I don't have time to play hard. So well, no, I'm going to I'm gonna play hard. Gonna I'm going to crit Thank roll you. all fucking Saturday next there Saturday. This Saturday, I'm uh, participating in a fundraising event uh -huh. during the early afternoon, and then I'm doing the... Because you're good people. Yeah. Hopefully, my new lift supports come in between now and then. Uh, otherwise, you will actually have to come help me load the vehicle. Because the lift supports on my van uh, blew out last week. And so the, I was not in the vehicle. I just no. want to clarify. So the very heavy <laughs> I did not gate in the back in of my van does not lift up anymore. You have to pick it up by hand and hold it up. And because of how tall my van is, you can't just like stick a stick under there. I was just going to say put a stick there. Also, it's super heavy. Like it's way yeah, heavier yeah. than you no, would expect heavy. it to be. So, uh, yeah, I will need assistance loading the van this weekend. Getting all the equipment in there so that we can do our remote a broadcast. I'm totally jumping in there to volunteer. Look at me volunteering. You best be there so, volunteering. Um, 8 p.m. my house. Also thrown in somewhere in this mix, um, Stephanie, our buddy, our pal Stephanie, um, will be doing a Zumba class. Ooh. A plus size Zumba class, I believe, tied into Stu's event. Cool. So much I, going on. I can't do any of that. That leads into my bitches portion of the evening. Into your bitches. Mm -hmm. Let's talk more about bashes. Okay. So, what's, I don't know, what can we talk about in regards to it? I don't know. We talked about it all. We got Stu's event coming up this week. Bree's event is next week. Right. There's party crossover on Sunday. Right. Pre-party tonight. Right. Pre-party, pre and post-party on Sunday. Right. Then each party has a giant pool party the Saturdays of their respective weeks, which we will probably be broadcasting from both pool parties, if not one pool party and one, like, dance party or whatever. I was going to say, uh, Breeze culminates with the big formal banquet. Oh, that's right. Hers is the big formal banquet. And then there's a, is there a pool party there's after that? There's a party after, there's but a party it's after. like a dance party. Oh, okay. And that's where we've broadcast from in the past. All right, well. Cool. Cool. Well, I mean, we're cool. going to be there. You guys know that. We just added a twerk class. A twerk. I can't even What's walk right now. What's it called? A twerk. Shit. What's the term? What is it? I don't What's know what the, the kids are saying these days. Hi. Oh, it's one of those dudes. Y'all have people. Taking the toilet passes. You need a key to get into the bathroom here. Please, can you shake them, Sierra? Shake what? That's, I believe he meant spirit fingers. There you go. Shaking my fingers. She's Woo -woo! doing it. She's doing it. Hey, Jaspie. I see Jaspie's watching. Huh. And um, will you be here? Will That's I be what I'd weird? like to know. Oh, yeah. Will Jaspie? Jasper, you better be Jasper, here. Jasper, are you coming for any of these events? You can't be, like, just sending me random things. He says, pre-party tonight whoop whoop jasper we will see you tonight then oh are you really here 
Hey, he says pre-party tonight. Or is he just reminding us to advertise? Did you know that person? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. He's right in the space in the back. Got um, it, got it. Because I waved. I saw him take the key. I waved producer. again. Oh, okay. a porno yeah. producer, right? What's that? Porno producer, yeah. right? Christian porn. Christian oh, porn. Oh, shit, that's the one we... we yeah. that's so the there's, a, there's a Christian producer Christian in here. Porn. Christian but what we But what we immediately went to when we were talking to them, and he said it's a producer, and we didn't know he was a Christian producer. We and immediately like, went is it, to porn. We are like, is it porn? Are you producing porn? And they were like so thrown off like... They did not expect that at all. <laughs> yeah. Still well, an AZ. He, he, has what? A, he has a good sense of humor. Good. Okay, good. Yeah, I hope not. Yep, see, I told you, Jasper's still in Arizona. When Whatever, dude. Out. Whatever. I'm going to live from the event tonight. So I will be in her live video from the event tonight. To be in it. I am not going live tonight. One of us has to be responsible. <laughs> it's never me. I don't, <laughs> how does that happen? Okay, so... I don't know if there's any more we could say about the bashes. I do know um, one thing that I saw to share is that there are some individuals for both of the events doing, and I'm trying to think of what it's called. Magic. Not no, magic. that's what I do. <laughs> Not magic. But I know a magician that y'all bitches refused to have on the show years ago, and now he's all famous and in Europe, like producing videos. What and bitches? Shit. I would love to have had a magician on. I tried to get him on years ago. We'll have to talk about that. <laughs> years ago. Years ago. And now he's off being famous. So um, there is a delivery service for the bash. And I believe it's Julie and Mel. And they're taking delivery orders for a lot of people travel here to the bash and not in their vehicle. So they're at the hotel for the events. If you're at the plaza, I mean, there's there's a lot of things around, but there's not like a liquor store right there. Mm -hmm. There's not a Walmart right there. The other event, which is at Sam's, I mean, you're there's a Walmart across the street, but it's 190 degrees out. You're going to have to schlep across the street. <laughs> so they have a delivery service this year where <laughs> you place your order, whether it's alcohol, coolers. Um, I believe if your order involves cannabis, you have to send them a private message, like whatever you need delivered. They have a delivery service for. So they're basically Postmates for fatties. Fatty Postmates. <laughs> Fatty Postmates. I am not sure why they didn't. Bringing donuts to you. Hashtag that name, but I would use that like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure you'd get a cease and desist from Postmates. I would probably. <laughs> I would. I, I almost have a cease and desist, a cease and desist from uber <laughs> for flirting with the driver so oh, that's and that's why i lift because i can always just tell them he was a terrible driver and then they won't match me up with them anymore <laughs> i don't do that unless they're actually terrible drivers which there was one time toxie and i thought we were, we were gonna, gonna die. die this guy was so bad it was so bad first off we uber pooled which is has been fun every other time mm-hmm this, and this time they were super quiet and in the back, but I think he was talking to them. Mm -hmm. And he was pointing something out. And as he was pointing something out and looking at them. He almost crashed. Back there, he, like, ran a stop sign. He, like, almost missed the swerve and he hit people. Almost, yeah, it was great. It was yes. truly, truly terrifying. Okay, so would you take an Uber or a Lyft that had no driver? <laughs> yes, under certain circumstances. Okay, so a driverless vehicle, right? Yes. Like a cab? No. All right. I'm a no. Wait, wait, She's wait. a yes. One I'm a step, yes. One step further, because this is currently being tested. In Vegas. Yes. In Vegas. Mm -hmm. Drones. Drones? You can take a drone from the Strip to downtown or from one casino. I was thinking the, the driverless Like a flying bus. drone? A flying drone. Pilotless drone. How did the FAA approve that shit? That, that's what they're working on right now. They are testing that hmm. right here in Southern Nevada. I would probably go with no on that. I'm okay with the um, driverless car because I work at a technology firm, and so I get to stay kind of further up to date than other people do on this kind of tech just because for whatever reason – 
as soon as technology enters the name of your company, suddenly you start getting technology magazines and uh, trade reports and stuff like that. So it's kind of ridiculous. I'm a lot more comfortable with driverless AI and cars than I think I would be with planes. Well, now, there's a lot less traffic up there than there is down here. That is true, but if you look at the track record of small plane collisions in the air in the desert, they're a lot higher. A lot higher rate for small plane collisions well, out it's here. Because the, the, the traffic lanes here in the desert, because of Nellis and Creech and all mm -hmm. that shit, is extremely narrow. Yeah. I mean, there's not much room out there. you you got to stay on this lane and... And, and that's it, so. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, hi, we're live on the air. I wouldn't, I lost my train of thought now, distracted. This is why you we wouldn't need... fly in a pilotless drone to go from one no, place to another. No, not in Vegas. Let's just make that as an overall no. She no wouldn't. Balls. No, she's I've, zero balls. No, I have none. Wow. I have none whatsoever. I, 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 my I, balls are so far up inverted. She has that, a vagina. It's a vagina. Yeah, like my balls are I a vagina. That's how I have none. I don't think I'd do the drone one. That just because small planes in Vegas scare the shit out of me. For whatever These reason, we can't. Planes. These are drones. And most That's of the worse. Planes, if it's going to pick my ass up off the ground, it better be a small plane. Ain't no drone able to lift all this. Oh. <laughs> it's like you're going to go down to Radio no, they, Shack. They are, you're going to pick up a drone to take you down the drones. street. Hmm? They are four yeah, no. passenger drones. No. Oh, no. They can take no. off vertically. Like, Why? You know what? Think of it as Why? a pilotless helicopter. Why? Hmm. Can we take those efforts to make the pilotless drones? Can we just divert those efforts and maybe find a cure for cancer? Like, can we just, can we divert that kind of shit? No, because most pilots don't have a medical background. Yeah. The, the research that goes into this kind of tech is entirely different, requires a different set of I'm resources. Aware. I know, I know. Right. I was being smart. Asked. Smart so you're talking about cells in the yeah, I got it. No, totally got it. Totally got it. Yeah, yeah. no, I don't think I'd. I don't think I direct these. I don't efforts? think I'd take a, a pilotless drone, but I May, would take a, pi a driverless car. Would this help? Tell me if this analogy helps. Could we take that technology? Can we take that effort and maybe put it into like automatic blinkers for mm -hmm. people yeah, who are changing yeah. lanes? Can yeah. we? Yeah. Apply it to something that's, but like, they, absolutely necessary. No, no, I mean, if you've been paying attention, and, I mean, that is one of my pet peeves. People don't use their fucking blinkers. Right. But if you watch the people who do use their blinkers, nobody will let their ass in. They no, will not. It's they true. Don't. It's I true. put my blinker on, and bitches speed, speed up. up. Yes. I'm yes. like, you You know what, motherfuckers? At this point, I already got one big-ass scrape down the side of my vehicle. Y'all better hold the fuck on. Here I come. Like, I don't give a shit anymore now. We went through, so I have an almost 16-year-old who just got her permit recently. Oh, Christ. And I'm only as far, like, mom can only do the parking lot driving. <laughs> I sent her to her grandparents. They're teaching her on the road. <laughs> I can only handle the parking lot. But I'm very much like the person in the parking lot where you have to use that blinker every motherfucking time. Like, er <laughs> Because I, I'm um, I'm a firm believer in like teaching her to do things right the first time. So she's like, we're in a library parking lot. We've been driving around for 42 minutes. Can I stop using the blinkers? And I'm like, no. <laughs> do you want to hear this the whole time? Ah! Then you use the blinkers. I also make her get out at every stop, walk around the car, and see where she is in conjunction with the stop sign. So. Hmm. Well, how lazy do you have to be to not just not go, go bleep? Bleep. People are. It's not they laziness. Are. It's entitlement. A lot of them yes. believe that they can just get over whenever they want and not indicate to other people because other people don't matter to them. Thank you, 45. Yeah. We're, we've already discussed earlier we're blaming 45 for everything. I'm down for that. Well, I'm wait, totally okay, down for so that. Okay, so here's a new one, right? And I forget who said Are this, you on to where we can hear you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it's kind of um, hot. Can you do the, that again? The, uh, ooh, ooh. Um, the new name is occupant. The I occupant, see a lot the of occupant. people say that. The occupant, yeah. He's occupying the so White House. I yes. heard. He is the occupant. I love I, that. That's my I, favorite. 
I heard an interview with the guy who is running against him on the Republican ticket right now. Mm -hmm. And everyone is telling him you do realize that no incumbent president has ever lost the nomination to someone else in his party, like ever. And he's like, yes, but every incumbent president who's had an opposition within his party has not won re-election. So, like, clearly his goal as a Republican is not to become the next Republican president. Right, it's to take votes away. But to remove Donald Trump as a president. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, I, you know what, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. I am literally at the point where I don't care who the, the Democrats could put a monkey and a dog on the fucking ticket and I would vote for it. Okay, good. And I'm glad to hear that because <laughs> I don't want you libertarian assholes throwing your vote away. For some fucking that ain't gonna snowball you, chance in hell. You do realize that our percentage of vote has not changed in four presidential elections. Wants, but I don't want you wasting your shit on, on you know, you better you better get on fucking board. Anyway. <laughs> I've said the same thing. Listen, I, I, I knew I knew what the response had, was gonna we, be. We had the, the the head of the Libertarian Party here in, in Southern Nevada on a few weeks back. And even he agreed with me. Yeah. So, yeah, we're getting rid of this president, the occupant, the occupier in the White House. The I read an amazing meme like yesterday. Probably one of the few that I've saved that isn't dirty. Um, (laughs) Because that's how I live my life. Mm. Um, But basically what it said is, you know, how you voted in regards to Trump or how you feel about Trump um, isn't necessarily a reflection of Trump or shit. I have to think of the exact words. Um, what it, it's more eye opening right now, not in regards to Trump, but in regards to your family and friends oh, yeah. and how they voted and how they defend him. And, you know, it was much funnier than how I'm portraying that, the meme, but essentially it was, you learn a lot about your friends right now. So, yeah, I Trust have a nephew me. that's probably going to be killed by his mother. Hmm. I have, uh, my friends list is definitely cleaned up a lot in the last three years like a ton a veritable shit ton of people have been kicked out of my friends list i've been blocked by a couple of people i'm yeah, kind of proud have. of that i've been blocked on your behalf <laughs> i that's get other people you, blocked that's that's when you know like that's when you know this person's your bestie because i'm like i'll get blocked for you i'll do it yeah there's nothing nothing better than you being uh, blocked so hard that your friends get blocked. Yes, yes. That it's was pretty extended, good. It's vibrated so far beyond. And I it, just saw red And it wasn't even off. anything I did. It was, it was the fact oh. that I would not defend someone else's comment. Or I wouldn't, I wouldn't. It was because I you allowed were at the, somebody. At the end of the day, you were in the wrong you were in, in no. no way, shape, or form in the wrong. None of us were in the wrong. And that's that. It's okay. It's just one we'll of those survive. Trumpster snowflake cocksuckers who just can't handle it when other people disagree with them. And in a mild way at that, it wasn't even like an argument or anything. Anyway. Bitches. Hey, we made it to Leading the bitches into portion. Bitches. bitches. My bitch this week. Um, I hurt myself while I was on vacation last month and it has not gotten any better. And I finally was able to get in to see a doctor today. I made this appointment three weeks ago, by the way. Everyone who argues that if we go to social health care, that it will be longer wait times to see doctors clearly have not made a fucking doctor's appointment in the last three years because it takes two to three weeks to get in to see my primary care physician. Now, I could have gone to quick care or urgent care at any point in the last three weeks, but... My injury does not keep me from performing daily tasks and it doesn't keep me, it's not keeping me from working. Um, It is painful and it's a pain in the ass and it's really fucking annoying that I'm not as capable as I usually am, but I am still capable. So there was no point in clogging up the system for essentially what I would, what what I would have had done today. I haven't gotten any worse, but I haven't gotten any better. So there was no point in seeing them. So I went and got x-rays. I injured my hip. I can move it in some directions, but it is absolutely impossible for me to move it in others. So they were like, well, before we just go poking around in there, 
you know, trying to adjust anything or whatever, we're going to take x-rays to make sure there's nothing broken, nothing chipped, nothing fractured, right? Perfectly fucking reasonable. That's all quick care would have done too, right? I don't know if you've ever had a joint issue and then gone to see radiology. They will 100% of the time make you move in the way you are not moving currently, in the movement that causes pain. And I knew. I knew as soon as I walked in, she's like, no, it's going to be super simple. I just need like three pictures. The very last one, she's like, okay, so what I need you to do is take your left knee and turn it out. And I said, my, it doesn't do that right now. And she goes, well, if you just shift this way and do that. And I'm like, no, what I'm telling you is this doesn't move that direction. She's like, well, I really need this. And she was very gentle, but very persistent in positioning me. And when she got me into the position where pain started, you know, I just started crying. It's a spontaneous, it's that kind of pain where it's spontaneous tears. And she's just like, just hold this position. Don't breathe. She ran around a little thing, clicked her picture. I mean, as soon as she was like, it's over, my legs just collapsed into a position that was no longer causing me pain. And then she's like, okay, you can get up whenever you need to because I need to take x-rays with you squatting and standing. And I was like, I'm not getting up off this table for at least three minutes, girl. You're just going to have to take a goddamn break because that hurt like a motherfucker. Very nice, very kind, very gentle lady, but why do they do that it's like this is what causes pain please don't make me do the painful things but they do it every time they do i'm they like do. i'm like i'm uh, they need new images of my knee because i have arthritis in my knee but apparently my four four-year-old mri is not good enough right, for them right so they're like we're gonna take x-rays of your knee she's like i need you to squat and i'm like what part of arthritis in my knee equates into i could possibly squat for you right now and hold it while you run clear back across the room to get behind your little fucking lead-lined wall while I'm standing here in no panties and a little thin-ass paper thing that you got me wrapped up in. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. I swear to God, I hurt so bad right now. That's why I'm cranky, because I had to do all those things, and I'm very, very painful right now. Everything hurts. Ow. All of it. All of it. And, of course, my hip does not work in a way that allows me to have sex right now like i can't have sex right now you should have led with that now it all makes sense yeah like if you just lead with this pain there's no sex preventing me from having yeah sex, i haven't had then... sex i haven't had sex since prom night wow yeah speaking of sex i met someone i want to hook you up with <laughs> but it is literally just a fuck meeting like yeah just for fucksies just for foxies. Just for foxies. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> He's younger. I actually don't prefer younger men. I know you don't, but you're still a cougar. <laughs> I am. I'm like inadvertently a cougar, though. I used to think, all right, I can't wait. Like, I'm going to take such pride in being a cougar. Being an older woman, I'm going to love it. Like, it's great. And then I realized, like, when they're really young and by really young honestly i mean like i'm not talking jeff epstein kind of young i'm talking like 29 32 you know 33 anywhere around there like late 20s early 30s it's just it's it's tough i feel like i scare them (laughs) i feel like i've had a few conversations with some and i just i feel like that I can't get in a connectivity. I'm having connectivity issues with the younger generation. Like I can't get into conversations with them and take them seriously. Like I'm, and I'm trying really hard because I hated it when people did it to me because I've always identified with an older crowd. All of my friends are older than I am. Um, All of my partners have been older than me with the exception of my son's father and my ex-husband, which that ought to tell you some shit. Like even my current partners are older than I am. He's younger than you? Almost two years younger than me. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. I mm-hmm. want to guess that. Yeah. I thought baby daddy was older. No. He's just grayer. Grayer. That's yeah. it. It's just the gray. He's, He's like grayer. almost totally gray now. Um, yeah. All of my friends are older than me. My partners have all been older. My last partner was significantly older than me. And I'm trying not to be a hypocrite. I'm trying to be like, okay, if I can connect to older people, then I should be okay to, to connect, connect to with younger. younger people. It doesn't work that way. But I can't. I just can't. Like, I get avocado toast. I get avocado toast. 
I don't get a lot of the other shit. I don't. I really don't. There's a lot of other shit that happens, and I just really feel like I'm almost ready to buy my RV, paint it bright blue, put all of my Love Nature stickers all over it, and just travel the world as a kooky old lady with my two dogs. See, here's it. Here's what it is for me. I feel like I've seen things. Like, I've seen <laughs> I've things. I've seen some shit. I need someone else who has seen some things. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's it. And I need someone else who, when I say, hey, I want you to put this here and then put this there, like, I don't want you to look appalled. Yeah. So. <laughs> that is the upside to older people is that right. I don't have to train them. Like, right, I right. had this conversation with someone recently and they were like, they're like, isn't it weird dating people that much older than you? And I'm like, no, I don't have to train them. Like, they're comfortable enough, like, even people my own age. And I'm I'll be 40 this year. Which I was means, just going to announce that to everybody, yeah, by I'm the way. I'm going to be 40 this year, which means I'm finally in that age of people where we're supposed to be fucking adults. And even people my age, if I tell them no assies on the first date, they're like weirded out about it. Or if I tell them, you know, I'm into some of the weird shit that I'm into, they're like weirded out by it. And I'm like, aren't you old enough to not give a fuck anymore? Like, if I show up after work and I smell like ass and my legs haven't been shaved, but I want to get fucked, you better fuck me. But they're like, ew, no. And it's like, are, I would be ill now. <laughs> and I'm older than you. I mean, I would clearly I'm wipe the ass like, funk off. Can you go off. wash that ass? Yeah, I'd clearly go wash that ass. But, <laughs> you, but there are some that they're just still hung up on shit. And it's can like. You sink wash that shit? Like? I would hoe bath for you. I would hoe bath for you. I did want a uh, sink wash in your bathroom. <laughs> Once, she says. Like, it doesn't happen every time she's at my house. She's taken more hobuffs at my house than I have. I don't know what to say. <laughs> By the way, I fixed my toilet seat so it won't pitch Did your you? ass anymore. That would be amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Actually, so. I didn't fix it. I bought it. I made my son and his dad fix it. <laughs> like, y'all probably the ones that broke it anyway. <gasps> I have a friend who all of her toilets are bidet toilets. I want a bidet and toilet. And it's so amazing. They're regular toilets, but they put seats on that do bidets. Oh, I gotta find one. And of those. it's, I mean, it's amazing. Like, I look forward to using the restroom because I know that I'm gonna be able to, like, rinse all my shit afterward just by you push this little lever down on the side and you're like, Err! you're like, oh, that's nice and tingly. You get a water sprayer right up the asshole. I highly recommend it. I like bidets, too. Yeah. I'm not fancy enough for a bidet in my own home, though. I'm not either. I mean, I don't have one at home. So. I'd get one, though. Bucket list. Not bucket list. Amazon wish list. Oh, Amazon Prime Day. Did you buy it? Ow. Oh. Sorry, okay. my, yeah, I just my hip just moved in the wrong way. My foot slipped. Okay. Did you buy anything on Amazon Prime Day? Yes. I did not. I, I did. didn't I didn't find anything I wanted. Like they had all this shit on sale. I found one dress that I was like, meh, about and then I didn't get it and then it was two dollars more today. So I was like, fuck it, I'm not getting it. it. So here's what I did. I actually saw um Stu posted something that he bought on there. He posted it online. And I saw it, and I'm like, it's a really great deal. So I bought the Ninja Blender for $45. Why did that not show up on my Amazon Prime deals? Yeah, $45. So did I you actually, buy that today or yesterday? Yesterday. Damn it. So technically, my daughter and I went in on it because she used some of her gift card. We had a blender. She left milk in it Ooh. and got it gross, and I threw it away. I wasn't even attempting to clean that shit. Like, I threw it away. So she makes protein shakes, but this is so sad. She has one of those, um, it's a SpongeBob shake container with the little metal ball in it. So she has to put her protein shake in there with the little metal ball and like shake it like that and then drink it. And that really doesn't do good. Like it's gloppy, you can't blend ice, you can't. Any so anyway, the ninja's really for her and her protein shit, but. Damn it. Am I blocked? No, you're not blocked. Not yet. I wasn't going to respond to him and let him think he is blocked. <laughs> that would have been funny. I'm passive aggressive like that. 
<laughs> I was going to continue pretending we didn't see it. For your edification, this show is not for... Uh, I was going to say it's not for enter your entertainment. It is for your entertainment, but you don't get to dictate what kind of entertainment we perform for you. So, you know, fuck off, I would say. This show's for us. We invite you to join us, <laughs> but it's really not for us. you. <laughs> We would be doing this even if no one watched. Literally, we have done this when no one was watching. True. So, yeah. True, true. Nobody's shaking anything for you. Nobody's going to show you anything more. No one's going to change the angle or move for you. Because this is not for you. It's for them. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. How stranger things of you. <laughs> Fuck, I love that show. Yeah. Have you watched season three yet? So, no. So don't tell me what happens. Okay. Which one? Stranger I have Things. To, I have to wait for my daughter to get back. So because okay. her, my niece, and I watch it together. And we made the mistake of starting. We're also in the process of marathoning 90210. Um, so we made the mistake of starting with that. And now I'm like, I, 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 I want to watch it. But I might have to just do it and not tell. Yeah, do that. So I'm going to warn you. No spoilers. But do not watch that last episode without someone you care about and a I've box already of heard. fucking I've tissues. Already heard. I don't know why, but I've already heard the tissues. Yeah. I will tell you for the, the, the last fucking five minutes of that movie, my son and I were whole, or that movie, that show, we were literally on the couch, arms wrapped around each other, <laughs> just weeping tears my face is my shoulders wet from him we are just a fucking mess for the last five minutes of that show don't do don't do it alone folks. i love that you guys are so open to crying with each other we are because how it is in the movie with my daughter and i we're normally like this we're to we're like back to back we're like <laughs> oh hell no and we each know we're each shaking we're like reaching grabbing the napkins and the tissues and like I'm a loud nose blower, so I'm like, honk, honk. But we no. still don't acknowledge that we're both doing it at the same time. No, as soon as so. it started to get emotional, mm -hmm. my kid, who was on the other side of the couch, like, crawled across the couch and, like, wrapped himself around me. He was like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and we get done. I'm like, were you crying? He goes, no. It is for you, Lisa. Just so you know, what? we are here for you. It's for me. Yes, it is for you, you Lisa. Have watched Good Omens? Uh, I haven't finished we Good Omens yet. We need to watch yet. it so we can talk to him about it specifically. I haven't finished it yet, though. Because he wants you to watch it. Yeah, I'm about halfway. More what? than halfway. Good, Good omens. omens. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Did you, did you watch uh, uh, Avengers? Endgame. No. You haven't watched Endgame? Endgame oh, is great. This is my whole fucking life. I know. I Except apparently my... Amazon Prime and Netflix, which you can get through, but he can't watch one, two and a half, three hour long movie. That's not on DVD yet. Uh, no, you're right. It's not. Uh, I haven't yeah. gotten it yet. Yeah. I get it a week before everyone else does. How do you do that? I'm a part of the Disney Movie Club. I had Captain Marvel before Endgame was out. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Do you pay a membership to be part of that club? I just buy movies every now and then. Do you have an official card that you're part of that club? <laughs> no. Did you get 19 DVDs for a penny? Did I get 19 DVDs for a penny? No, I did not. All I have to do is buy three <laughs> movies at regular price every year to maintain my VIP status, which gets me free pins and free lithographs and early access to movies that other people can't get. Who is that? What is that? Disney Movie Club. They don't sponsor this show, and they would never sponsor this show. Because uh, we say vagina. And dick, and like, go fuck off. And we're telling you we're not going to shake our titties on camera for you. Sorry. If you don't like it, GTFO, motherfucker. Oh, probably do it at the club. Come out tonight. Yeah, come to the club. <laughs> Jacob's plush BBW event, 9 p.m. I at won't be shaking anything. I can barely walk. I will shake them for you. So okay. you'll stand, I'll just but I'll stand make your, like, just... I'll stand behind you, and I'll be like, da, 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 da. Yeah. that'd be great. <laughs> because, you know, we promised the people that your boobs are going to shake. We well, need to I'll shake I'll sneeze your boobs. real hard. How about that? At two, and then it'll get a little wobble in. I'll just stand behind you. If you come up, you remind us that you saw it here, that your boobs are going to shake. I will, I'll just come up behind yeah. you, and I'll be That's like. That's a great idea. You put if your you, hands like this. If you come out tonight, and you see us at Plush Party, Tell us that we promised you for Jiggly Sierra titties, 
and we will make sure you get Jiggly Sierra titties. But only if you mention that you heard us say it on the show that tonight. That we promised you. That's yeah. it. That's the only way you're going to see them. They will not be on her live feed. They won't be on my never going to go live feed. Yeah. And britches. Were we going to talk about britches? We're going to talk about britches. And I'm actually excited about this for a reason. Okay. So <laughs> yesterday we hit another high heat record. Right. Which we do every year. <laughs> every year, one day of the year, we bust records with it. Um, people are dying in the heat out here. It's too hot for pants. I have to wear pants to work. I can't wear skirts and I can't wear shorts to work, so I'm forced to wear pants. But when I don't have to go somewhere, I'm in shorts or skirts all fucking summer. It, it's been more than 110 degrees for like two weeks now. So my car doesn't have air right now. <laughs> Which is why we're taking my vehicle this evening, or a lift car. And my pants, so I wear jeans to work, um, because if I don't wear jeans, the only other thing I wear is a dress, but I wear these, I have to get better Spanx. I'm only wearing, sp- I don't need to suck shit in. Y'all know I'm fat, like I don't need to suck anything in. You it's know what's rub. under there. It's for chub rub. And it's to, like, when I wear a dress, I sweat. And it's why I don't stand there looking like I'm peeing, but I'm sweating from mm-hmm. my thighs. So, um, but they're, the ones I have are, like, thicker. So no matter what, I'm dying. The only thing that makes me feel comfortable right now is these amazingly, like, thin yoga pants that I have that I love. So if you ever see me out and it's not for work or anything like that, I'm in these amazing, my summer yoga pants. Her summer yeah. yoga pants. They're my summer yoga pants. That's great. <laughs> that have, I mean, believe it or not, they've actually seen yoga before. Mm. So they're legit. Like, they're pretty legit. Speaking of britches, I went to Leather Church this Sunday, and nobody wears britches to that thing. It was either kilts or assless chaps. Like, that was all I saw all Sunday. And I've been to Leather Church once before, and I forgot how much fucking fun it was because then my bitch ass started working a second job, but now I don't got that second job. I do, but I don't. Now I can go back to doing Leather Church on Sundays when it happens, and holy fuck is that place adorable and fun. It's a little bar in town called Charlie's Bar. This sun, they always raising funds for something. Mm-hmm. This Sunday it was for a member of their group that had passed, and also it's their annual school supply drive. So they had the pool table. You couldn't play pool at the pool table because it was full, like full of school supplies. So I'm going to tell you something about bikers, kinksters, and leather people. Like when they decide to do fundraisers, they go all the fuck out. If they do a toy drive, there are so many toys, it's ridiculous. If they do a school supply drive, it's ridiculous. Like... They're seriously good people. Also, it was $10 all you could drink beer or $10 all you could drink soda. I mean, you left that part out. <laughs> you said you had other important things to uh, do. Yes. Yeah. So my plan was to go to meditation. And I had not gotten out. Um, I actually ended up being in the entire weekend. Um, and I had plans for multiple different things. And I had to cancel. And it was not a good weekend for me. Like, it just, it wasn't a good weekend for me, to be honest. So... My yoga pants and I became real good friends. And we became real good friends. But I'm like, Sunday I'm going to meditation. And it's the hammock meditation. Like, I hang in a hammock. Um, they were doing this, the uh, not the violin, but the sound bowls. And that's, like, my favorite thing in the world. Like, just to just lay and listen to the sound bowls. And I was super psyched. And I'm like, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to do this. But beforehand... I'm like, I'm going to run into Target, grab some school stuff that was on sale, you know, for my kid. And and I end up in Target getting sick. So it was the whole, like, diarrhea sick. Like, not yeah. I wasn't vomiting or passing out. Like, it was that. So I had to, like, rush to the bathroom. I'm like, can I make it home? No, there's no chance in hell. You know, I'm in there. I have issues anyway in public restrooms that nobody would fucking leave the room. <laughs> and so after I'm in there like 47 minutes, just holding everything until like so, until it was cleared out. Anyway, bottom line, it didn't end. And I knew there was no way that I could go get in a hammock and lay there and try to relax for an hour without worrying I was going to shot my pants. <laughs> so I missed out on meditation. And, and on the assless chaps. And I made, like, I, this weekend I missed out. Yeah. So I'm going to make up for it. I'm going to. Everything. I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do everything within the next two weeks. I'm going to be social as fuck. 
if there's any point where I feel like I just cannot bring myself to leave that door, I'm going to call you, and I'm spitting now, I'm excited. I'm gonna call you and make you tell me to leave. <laughs> like. I can do that. You gotta make me leave, so. Oh man, it was anyway. a lot of fun. So much fun. I won a hoe bag. So they do a raffle, uh -huh. um, and I won what they call a hoe bag, which I thought was gonna be full of stuff for uh, like playtime. Uh, but I didn't win that hoe bag. I instead won the hoe bag full of shirts where they had two shirts. One covered each titty. All the shirts were too small. I was able to actually squeeze into one of or two of them. But, like, they ended here and I got, right. like, quad boob. And then the other one I couldn't breathe in. It was so tight. Did they fit your kid? They, he can't wear them. Oh, got it, got it. You know, okay. this was stuff provided at a... A gay bar for a kink club okay or a leather club they're not really a kink club but anyway yeah no because it was all about these uh pornographic websites and larry flint's hustler club so i you can still I did give get, those to your kid i did get two foam titties like yeah. two squeeze balls from free ride uh nice. that's if you get drunk and you can't get yourself home and you don't want to get a lift you want your car to come home you call free ride they'll come get you in your car and take you home it's great service absolutely do it it's worth the price it's free on like st patrick's day and new year's it's pretty amazing anyway i got two foam titties so i spent a vast majority of the evening playing with my two foam titties titties i'm actually thinking about mounting them to a headband so that i have titty, i feel like you should titty mickey mouse ears and yeah. i'm just gonna start wearing those i'm just gonna walk around and be like want to feel my titties i'm just gonna walk around I would do it. letting people feel my titties I might even get the little nipples pierced and everything i can <laughs> pierce your nipples i could do that my foam nipples. Yeah, your foam nipples. Nope. Not your real titties. Hell no. I mean, I can I sit up and stick a needle through. I could do that. Listen, I am not about to start getting my nipple rings caught up in my shoelaces. That's not about to fucking happen. <laughs> it is about to happen. I already elbow <laughs> when myself when in the tit when I roll over in bed. When your titty earring, like, gets caught up in your tampon string, like, that's when you know. That's when you know it's time to... Hoist those puppies up. <laughs> you know, I keep seeing the ads for that sticky thing. And it's like, even I know, it I holds know. 20 pounds. And I'm like, I don't still don't know if they'll work know. for I my I don't titties. think it will. It won't. You know, I want to do it. Like, I want someone to buy them for me. And I will wear them for a show night. I'll wear them out. Like, I'll give them a full fucking rundown. Listen, I've bent over and you have put your titties on my back like a, like a around your neck. coffee table. And around my neck. Those those titties are more than 20 pounds each. Like, those little lick and stick -ums, those aren't going to hold them up. I don't think they are either. But I want to try. Because <laughs> like they say dangerous. works for all the titties. I mean, that's not what they say. But they, I, like, yeah. I'm imagining how dangerous this is. Like, so these things are, like, on and stuck and holding you up, right? Can you imagine if one of them popped and pow, just... And take out someone's eye. Yeah. That's what you're going to do. I mean, you would have to rip through all my clothes. Unless it was on, like, a nudie party. You could be up and... True, just pop up and out yeah look i give myself a black guy i'm gonna give him a try though i, I want to see if they work i would so you can amazon review it hell yeah <laughs> i would do it but i can hold these titties up with scotch tape so <laughs> i mean i could get one of my old hello kitty scratch and sniff stickers and you know i'm a negative b cup i'm like an inverted b i don't know how that happens but i could some of those lick and stick them titty stickers from when you were a kid i could chain those up and i never had like them stick them titty place. stickers as a kid <laughs> where were the little scratch and sniff like orange and cherry yeah but i didn't know those were supposed to be titty stickers well, they wouldn't have worked they? when i was a kid either so weren't they i was a c cup in junior high yeah i was rocking triple d's by the time i graduated high school dang girl yeah dang. i've always had big titties i have nothing more to say i'm insanely jealous I'm what I'm wearing Don't is be. padded. How I'm much did you pay padded. for your bra? Uh, whatever Lane Bryant bras are, forty bucks. Yeah, see, I can't do that. I can't even buy bras at Lane Bryant. Even their extended sizes are not big enough for me. Yeah. Lane, yeah, see, I can get. I love the bras at Lane Bryant. I love the bras at Torrid. I wish they came in my size. But, but they don't. just to share with you, because us small tits have it as well. Yeah. Um, Lane Bryant didn't start carrying i'm like a 40 42b depending on the the bra um and even there sometimes i could stuff like i could 
probably fit some of your shit in here right now. We can put my poem titties in there tonight. We really <laughs> can give we you put a push your up. Poem titties yeah, in we here. put your poem titties in um, there. Um, but even then, they didn't carry a wider band in a B, like forever. So I used to have to wear like off sizes until, you know, until Lane Bryant kind of came through. So yeah. I'm holding out hope. The problem with having disproportionate titties on either direction is that nobody ever thinks about right. You know, your titties Listen, are perfect. Your titties are perfect, Johnny. Perfect titties. How much time do we have left? 500, 500 bucks a month on Patreon, and I'll do the show topless. Yeah, $500 a month. You have to do a minimum of three months, and then Johnny Fever will do this show topless. And he's going to let us um, pierce his penis. I, you weren't aware of that, but I just want to say. You know what's not going to shock me is when he's like, again? <laughs> Like, <laughs> he's like, can you find room on there with the other piercing? I was just gonna say, do I have to take the other ones out? <laughs> oh my god, I still need to get my piercings done. But I always think, like, am I too old to be getting piercings? No, no. Why do you have to be too old for anything? <laughs> I mean, the titty one I got, because honestly, catching on that like zipper, <laughs> catching on that tampon string, not things you want to do. I already roll over and stick my own elbow on my nipple. I am not about let's, to rip a yeah, nipple ring out that. at the same let's fucking time. That. No. But you want to pierce anything else, by all means. Just I, for professional reasons, because of what I do, aside from the show, for professional reasons, try to avoid any in-your-face area. Oh, no, I would do that. Because for as much as we really want to expect employers to be accepting of you know whatever you however you choose to express yourself they're not mm -hmm. so like I have a um, I have a young girl that my family is close friends with her family and she tattooed up her face and then couldn't figure out why to why she couldn't get a job and I had to be the one to tell her like you're going to have to cover up for the interviews like you're trying to work in a hospital um, you need to she went to school and paid for um, like phlebotomy Mm -hmm. And um, she just she couldn't get a job anywhere, and she didn't want to cover up whatsoever. So I'm like, I you're not gonna I get a job. To tell I you. hate to like, tell you this. All up. And then here, I mean, I she have one here? No, no, no. There, I that was me wiping my oh. nose, but they're all up here and like here. Hmm. It's so. not like she got like right, but they're they're still very noticeable. Oh. Listen, I don't make the rules. I'm not gonna not hire somebody based on. Yeah, I know you Tattoos don't. or piercings or anything along those lines. I'm just saying that the bottom line is there are employers who will not for that reason. So so that was bashes, bitches, and britches, and we're getting the roll By the way, sign. really quick, just to share with y'all, we might have talked about this on the 420 episode. As of January 1st, people, if you live in Nevada, they can't terminate you for popping on a marijuana test. I thought they couldn't not hire. I thought they, they couldn't. couldn't. They can't not hire you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Right. They can't not hire you for that reason. Yeah. Unless there's, unless you have an exception for a few certain. Yeah. Federal, things. state, and something else. I mean, EMT, yeah. fire. There's certain I, positions. I think those are, yeah. Government jobs, basically, still. All right. This is Sierra. Toxie. We'll see you next week. Or tonight. We'll see you later. If you're brave enough. Later, bitches! <laughs>